Chinese app TikTok preferred tool by human traffickers at border. Border. This is our top stories report, and I'm calling this video "Human Traffic Smugglers Use Chinese App TikTok to Aid Their Efforts." And this is our top. Like I said, this is our top stories report, and this is the top story of our top stories report. Actually, yeah. And go to the, the the top top story here. It's the link is from. It is from Legal Insurrection. Border cartels using TikTok to enlist American teens to smuggle migrants. Well, at least you called them migrants and not illegal aliens. I am not for open borders in, 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 in a reality of power that involves nation states, me living in a nation state. But I'm most assuredly not for calling human beings illegal aliens. <coughs> and I was never in favor of the Trump policy of, of rounding up the human beings that were already here, especially the ones that have been here for, for, for years. I, I'm a Christian, and I do believe that we have obligations to the sojourner. I'm not the way the progressives use the whole sojourner thing, where they essentially remove the sovereignty of God and make it all about just, just serving humans in the here and now with, with no thought to the life to come. So I don't want to put myself in their, in their category. But at the same hand, I am not going to deny that Scripture clearly tells us that we should, should take care of our sojourners. We were all we're grafted into the vine of Israel. And as such, we were all sojourners once. We are grafted into a vine in which we came from Egypt as sojourners into the land. So as such, we should, uh, we should take care of the sojourners. But be that as it may, I'm not for open borders and I'm not for the United States of America or any nation state for that matter, simply allowing it to be overrun by human beings through through no fault of their own, not blaming the human beings that are coming here, being used as political weapons of war, uh, allowing these human beings to just run into your country and, and totally change the dynamic of your country without a vote. <laughs> and that's, that's essentially what's happening here. Uh, Fox News reports... The border cartels have been enlisting American teens on social media to smuggle migrants over the border. Images obtained by Fox News show the shows the ads cartels are using on social media apps like TikTok, where they offer more than three thousand dollars of rides for teens and young adults. And I wanted to to highlight the TikTok and make note that TikTok is a foreign power, a fascistic foreign power. That uh, all of the corporations, the corporate, the corporate nationalists of America support the TikTok not being sold off like Trump was going to have it sold off to American interest and want the Chinese to control an app that can track the behaviors, actions, beliefs and habits of all of America. Well, not all. Well, millions of American citizens and the type of intel that you can get from that. I, I remember when I first heard of TikTok, I was like, why are we letting China have access to our youth? This is, this is a horrible idea. And these are the same corporate nationalists that will destroy human life, will will market murder a human being for saying a quote unquote racist word uh, and, and, and pledge their allegiance to Antifa to fight the fascist while at the same hand they support fascists because China is most assuredly in the truest sense of the term China really is a fascistic state. They will support the fascist being able to have access to our children and use that intelligence to undermine American sovereignty, American morality, American Amer American uh, morale, morality and morale, both of them. And here's some other stories from the top stories report here. We have... Nevada Secretary of State finds no evidence of election fraud took place in state elections. That's from politicsusa.com, which is the worst of the worst leftist sites. Well, I, I, I don't want to say leftist. i got to stop that. They are authoritarian right-left corporate nationalists. That's what they really are, authoritarian right-left corporate nationalists. And that is, when I say right-left, they, they incorporate tactics of the far-right authoritarians like, well... A whole host of uh, whatever you want to call uh, the right, whether it's the fascists, the Nazis, or whatever types of other far-right type groups that are out there, while they utilize the language and the moral appeals of the left. But they are, in fact, the right. The far, 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 far right. They're more far right than the Republican Party ever was. Uh, so that's who they are. Uh, but here, uh, it's a, it's a, I guess that now this is they they they'll use a a a civil 
type of headline when the headline is in their favor and they want to normalize whatever it is that they're discussing here. So I don't know fact or fiction from the election as far as the voter fraud is concerned. All I know is that you, you conducted a mass mailer election. That's all you really need to know. That's fraud in and of itself. The fact that the federal government chose to enable and allow a, a presidential election to be conducted using mass mailing. More than 60% of the votes were either from the mass mailer or from absentee balloting. Less than 50% of the votes were from people that showed up on election day. That's that's not good. That's really not good. That is, that is a situation that is rife for high levels of manipulation and control by corporate nationalists. And, and this uh, voting rights bill seeks to make that easy for the DNC to do election after election so they'll never lose another national election again, as, or, or so they would believe. Two California universities will require COVID-19 vaccinations for all students and staff from Global News CA. Staples won't say if it respects police who protect L.A. Lakers air arena from the Federalist. Well, the police just shouldn't take the jobs anymore. East Jerusalem clashes leave over 100 in injured from BBC.UK. Russian warplanes practiced attacks on shipping, heightening fears of Ukrainian invasion. Uh, from Mirror UK, and we talked about that in an earlier segment on the show. And if you're watching this as a standalone video, click on the link below and you can get access to the whole show. And then finally, FBI helps capture suspected Russian hacker in Czech Republic. And that is our top stories report.